Okay, good afternoon guys, how's it going? Just another day in paradise for me, so... Um, I figured come on here and talk about, um... Some of my ideas for an upcoming videos and whatnot. Um... This one, this video is going to be basically about kind of a little bit of a rundown why I like Harbor Freight stuff, so. So, um, I, um, figured that, uh, well, y'all know I'm a freaking gearhead, okay? Um, I've always been that way for God, years, beyond years. Well, it really all started with that was freaking Hot Wheels. Oh my God, you still play with Hot Wheels? No, I don't play with them, I collect them. There's a difference. But, um, anyway... I'm gonna go right into uh, meat and potatoes about this video, so. Um, well, for one, I've decided to put like a small bag of tools together for the, like, on the go. <clears throat> I better not for any harder than that one where I might shit myself. Uh. So, um. Ugh. She never had that with an energy drink, neither. <laughs> but, um, anyway, um, the reason I'm thinking about carrying a, uh, a tool bag around is, uh, just in case if I have to go do a, like, on the job site or something like that, or if I need to do, like, a small repair on my truck or something if I'm out of town that's why I'm gonna have like a tool bag ready to go with me on budget that's why I choose Harbor Freight cause um me personally I don't get me wrong I do think Snap-on, Mackle and Dewalt are all good but if you just don't have the money for like three, four hundred dollar impacts, you can go to Harbor Freight to pick one of these things up. It's a cordless impact. So now I have three. Oh, I got a half inch and now a three eighths. I'll get into a third one, but, um, uh, basically, this is a brand new one I picked up. It's a 3.8 Bauer 20 volt lithium, uh, impact for 3.8. So, I'll show you my other one here shortly here. You can tell the difference between a new one and my beat to shit one, so... <clears throat> Um, so, on my, for my tool bag, I already have a, um, 3 8 uh, socket set, and, uh, I got four ratchet straps in there, don't ask me why, I might need them, who knows, never know with me, <laughs> um, so, all I know is I'm gonna have some wrenches with, 3-8 sockets with a 3-8 ratchet. Um, same thing with a half-inch end pack socket set and whatnot, just in case if I need something a little more stronger. So, um, since then, I bought a brand-new floor jack, a floor press, um, uh, ball joint press and a few odds and ends from Harbor Freight over the last year and a half, two years. 
I'm not saying how much I spent on my tools, but it was quite a bit. So, okay, like right now, this is a brand new one. You can pick one of these Bauer impacts for a third of the fraction from Snap On or Mac Co or Mac Co. So the that's my new one. But the other one I have, I had my very first uh, impact slash girl. <laughs> this sucker uh, put beat to hell. This is basically the same, a 3 8 impact, but this one's for like kind of like an impact slash um drill I uh, oh yeah between my new one and this one oh yeah this one basically took a beating so I had this one for almost two years and the other, my half inch for a year and a half both took a severe beating within that time frame so the reason I decided to pick up another one of these and so I can actually have a little bit of a set going on so I'll have all that plus I gotta get two more charger uh, battery chargers for old So, this is why I prefer going to Harbor Freight. Because I already picked up a half inch um, breaker bar. It has a lifetime warranty. If you're all looking for tools, make sure you get a warranty on them. Because you never know if you're going to bust them in half like I do. <laughs> so that's what excuse me um this is kind of why I go through Harbor because I have a membership with them and I like their tools a little bit better you can go to them for what's it Icon Pittsburgh Bauer which I have. Um, Hercules. Oh, what else do I have? Maddox. Maddox. Something like that. So. And, um. This is another reason I'm thinking about converting this truck into a full blown work truck. Well, it's already a work truck. But I've thought about turning it into a little more of a nicer work truck with a flatbed on it, all steel and whatnot. So, yeah. So, I just want some of y'all to understand why I go to Harbor Freight. Because you can pick up an impact or a set of a uh, sockets, wrenches, freaking ball joint press for a third of the fraction where you can go uh, O'Reilly's or Snap-on or Strap-on whatever. So Snap-on if you get offended by me calling it Strap-on just it's a joke. I'm alright. Don't take offense to it. It's a joke. So, um, that's why I prefer going Harbor, because you can find really good deals and whatnot. So, yeah, you all can already see that 
This one took a massive beating within the last two years. Same thing with my half inch. So, um, I know I'm going to have uh, the batteries full on these at all times so I can use them if I need to be on the go for something. So, like, you just don't need much tools for on the go, but I thought about getting another floor jack so I can have that on the go too if I need it. So, that's why you always think with your head. Not the one underneath, but the upper head. So, that's why I'm trying to do like a small budget tool set for on the go. If you need them, or if I need them, they'll be there if I need to work on something. So, that's why not really worry about it. so but uh, anyways um I'll still do uh, truck videos but I just need a little extra time on getting more tools just in case so I'll still work on my shit with my limited access to my tool inventory my tools, will, the ones I pick up, are staying somewhere people don't need to know. Ooh. I haven't had Taco Bell yet, but I'm getting gassy. <laughs> so. That's why I'm always going to Harbor Freight, see what they have. One of my next tools I'm going to be picking up is a sliding hammer. So I can have that either in here or somewhere. So if I have to do a, like a CV axle or again or something. So I'll have that on hand. That's why I'd rather buy the tool, have it on hand, than borrowing it from a friend. It's kind of like, if you borrow a tool, it's kind of like borrowing their wife for a night. That's why i rather have my own tools. So, anyways, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. If you want me to talk a little bit more about Harbor Freight tools and whatnot, let me know in the comments. Um... Like this one, I'm keeping the same thing with my half inch and this one. So, anyways, y'all have a good afternoon, all right? Have a good Monday, and if you guys don't see me before Christmas this week, Merry Christmas, all right? Y'all take care, all right? Later. <laughs>